Each facility has its own standards for sanitation. Depending on what is being produced, some establishments require a more sanitary environment to ensure a safe product for consumers. By setting thresholds, you are creating a range that gives you a reading of how clean or dirty the work environment is. To create a threshold range, perform 5 to 10 sample tests of the same area of the work environment. Repeat these steps in different areas throughout your facility to create multiple threshold ranges, but make sure to do so after each area has been thoroughly cleaned. Make sure to write down the results for each test. After you have performed 5 to 10 tests, some basic math will be required to find your upper and lower thresholds. To calculate your pass and fail limits, first add up the RLU numbers from the 5 to 10 tests you took from around your facility. Next, divide your sum by the number of tests taken. The resulting number is your average RLU. This is your pass limit. Next, multiply your pass limit by 3. This will give you your fail limit. These are your thresholds. You can now enter them into your System Sure Plus program and synchronize to your device. Or enter them directly into your luminometer under the threshold category. Any test number falling in between these two numbers should be considered as a caution zone. Test plan number. After setting up your program number, you can assign a test plan to your location. A test plan is a particular location within your facility where testing should occur. Test plans keep multiple testing locations in order and easily accessible to the user. To do this while it's still in your unit number screen, simply click on your location, click the setup tab, select add test plan and this screen should emerge. Click Next and then type in a hotspot. A hotspot would be a test location, product run, line number, or even a day of the week. Click Next and three options emerge. Option 1 allows you to add locations to an empty test plan. Option 2 assigns all your program locations to a test plan. And Option 3 copies an existing test plan. Click Option 1, click Next, and the location you typed in your program number page should be visible. Click the box next to the left of the location and hit finish. Your test plan is now assigned to your test location. Archiving results. To clear your results database of recent tests from the main menu, simply click View Database. From here, click File and select Archive File. A Create Archive File screen will pop up. Click Next and you will then have the option to archive the entire database for a selected section. In this case, we will select Entire Database. It then brings us to naming the archive data. Select an appropriate name, add notes if needed, and then select the Finish button. The results database is now clear. To view the data you just archived, click the Archive Data emblem on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on the name in which you titled the data. Synchronize information. Now that everything is set up, it is time to assign the information to your system Sure Plus. To do so from the main menu, just click Synchronize. The information is now being sent to your unit and you're ready to go. When you turn on your System Sure Plus, allow 60 seconds to calibrate. To scroll through your device settings, first hit the Star button located here. To select a category, hit the OK button located here. This is your user identification. To select a user, scroll up or down with these buttons here. Find the name and hit OK. To move on to the next category, hit the Up button. This brings us to our test plan. 
Hit OK again to activate and scroll to find the test plan you're looking for. Remember, everything but your thresholds are previously set up in your data software program and synced to your device. Moving on, scroll up to your program number. This was also previously set up in your data software. This is where you also set up your thresholds. Scroll up or down and press OK to select. Next is memory. This shows you how full of information your device is, how many tests, and what percentage of memory is occupied with data. The following are your statistics. These symbols represent your ATP readings. A check means clean, an exclamation point for caution, and an X for failure. These readings are all relative to your threshold settings. Next is your clock and calendar. Select OK and it brings you to the clock. Scroll up or down for all changes. Select OK to move on to the hour and minutes. Make your changes, select OK, and repeat the previous steps to set the month, day, and year. Your final selection is the LCD contrast. To make symbols and data more legible, scroll up to create more contrast and down for less contrast. Swabs and equivalation. Your UltraSnap ATP swab should be kept in a refrigerated area. When ready to use, remove the swabs from your refrigerator and place them in an appropriate area. A user's guide comes inside the box and should help you through the process if needed. The box contains four silver UltraSnap bags. To open, simply tear the corner of the bag and remove the desired number of swabs. Each bag contains 25 swabs for a total of 100 swabs per box. Before testing, the swabs need to equivalate to room temperature. Let them sit in the general testing area for 5 to 10 minutes. The swabs are non-reusable and environmentally safe. To save unused swabs, simply close the bag and return it to a refrigerated area.